do you want to play better than wolves with friends this is the exact tutorial you're looking for so first off we're going to show you how to download client and then afterwards i'm going to show you how to download a server and set the server up and port forward but without sharing your ip so you can be good to play with your friends so first things first there's a bunch of links in the description java 8 if you don't already have minecraft mods or you use the curseforge app you want to paste this into your browser <coughs> click uh in download right here download java and then if i go to file explorer right here give it a minute right here this is what it looks like open it run through the install just install it to the default location unless you feel like changing it it does not matter so once you do that after java has installed go to the second link cursed fabric installer this is for installing the server and the client side and you want to click the installer dot uh exe not the dot jar the dot exe this one right here download this and then it should open right here if it doesn't open just find it in your downloads double click Go to client, make sure this is selected. Default location. If Minecraft isn't in the default location, you're going to have to change this. You could click the three dots and change it around. Doesn't matter. Um, 1.5.2, install. Let it run. It should say done. You can close that. That's all good to go. Now what you want to do is you want to type in Windows R. Type percent app data percent. Hit OK. Go to dot Minecraft. And if there isn't already a mods folder, which I deleted mine to show you, you have to create a new folder and label it mods. All lowercase, double click to open. Open up over here the betterthanwolves.jar, which you get from the mod.jar. You want to open this up. <coughs> it's the .jar, not the debug.jar. That is for developers. You don't really need to use that. Um, the .jar normal one will work fine. Just drag and drop it straight in. Uh, I'm actually going to keep a second one in my downloads because I'm going to show you how to set up a server later and you're going to need that on the server side too. So paste it in the mods. Close this. Close any Minecraft. Reopen Minecraft launcher. Give it a minute to load. And Curse Fabric launcher or loader should be right here. You just want to double check, click play, give it a minute to set everything up, and Minecraft should open 1.5.2 with the mod installed if you did everything correctly. So, while we're waiting for this to load... So, Minecraft opened. It should look a little different because it's got better than Wolves installed. You could see right here, it basically changed everything. And this is a new thing. You can also tell if the mod's installed either here or here. And you can go to single player and play your better than wolves. Multiplayer, you could do multiplayer servers. So I'm going to leave Minecraft open on the side. And now it's time to show you how to download a server and set that up. So in my desktop, I have a file labeled server or a folder. You can open this up. There's nothing in it. So first things first, you want to go back to your downloads. And you're going to, once you download, or sorry, go back to the description, download playit.gg slash downloads, open this up, uh, download your version, not plugins, but Mac OS, Linux, or Windows, Windows installer, just click through, and then I'm going to open the Play It program in a minute. It should, if you search up Play It, it should come up. So now what you want to do is after installing playit.gg um, and you have everything installed you want to install the cursed fabric double click this click server click this little gear icon and you want to change this so wherever this is on my desktop so i'm going to right click if you find the file or the folder you can right click and click copy path because this makes it so much easier just control a control v hit enter or you want to delete the quotes so delete that quote delete that quote and it should just automatically know where to put it um now what you want to do after pasting this in you could close this hit install and it'll do everything for you just wait after that is done installing because this is installing all the stuff 
So now it has fabric server launch.jar and it says no valid 1.5.2 server jar found. Just click download server jar. It should install. Yep, it popped up. And then use this command to start the server. If you know what you're doing, you can use that or just click generate launch scripts because that'll automatically do it for you. Um, and now you got your start.bat and start.sh. So you could close this and you can close this. After everything is in this, the curse fabric has put everything in the server. You're going to double click start.bat and it should run. If you get an error, this is okay. That means your Java is installed at a different location. In order to fix this, you just delete everything again. Right click start, or sorry, press F2 on start.bat or right click and edit name. And instead of .bat, you're going to want to change the file extension to .txt. Yes. Open this up. And it should say Java jar fabric server launcher dot jar. Um, in order to find the location of your job, uh, file explorer, open it up, scroll down. You should see your local disk. The, um, if you don't see this, you're going to want to click on this PC. And then you should see two. This is my second hard drive. Um, it should install defaulted onto the C drive. So, or wherever you put it, I put mine on the C drive, so I open C drive, I open program files, I open Java right here, this bin folder, scroll down, you can find the java.exe, right click, or click on it, right click, uh, copy path, you can close that, and then replace the Java right here with this leave it exactly how it is the quotes are good and then you just want to click file save you can close that and then you want to edit this again change the file extension dot back to dot bat yes double click to open everything will run just give it a minute now your server's up and running only problem is it's vanilla so after it says done you can just stop by typing stop in this login chat, or you can type stop in command prompt. It does not matter. You just want to stop. It'll close the server, save everything. Boom, close. Now all your files are here. You want to open the mods folder, drag and drop better than wolves.jar into here. Go back, delete the world folder because it'll uninstall the world. And you now want to open start.bat again. And it'll create a brand new world for your server. Um, and give it a minute. Boom, your server's up. Done. So now if you go to multiplayer and you type zero in the server address, you can just join server. It'll let you in the server. You can play better than wolves. But you can only play single, uh, single player because it's a local host. You haven't port forwarded yet. Okay, so now... What we need to do is port forward. So if you remember from earlier, you downloaded playit.gg. You just want to open this up, um, give it a minute, and it should say it has zero tunnels. Uh, give it a minute to load. Starting up tunnel connection, tunnel running. And it should give you a link. So it says zero tunnels running, or zero tunnels registered. So add tunnels here. So you just want to copy this into your browser um, and I am gonna blur a little bit of what comes up next because my IP is gonna show so you just want to open this give it a minute to load just in your browser um, and if it asks you to log in log in otherwise it should automatically do all this it should say <coughs> connected uh, you're gonna click add tunnel global anticast free unless you want to pay it makes it faster it doesn't really matter um, and then you want to open up your, sorry, tunnel type, Minecraft Java, and then add tunnel. Give it a minute to load. Okay, once it loaded, you should see this. And if you scroll up, it's going to be blurred, but around right here, there's going to be a link, and your IP is going to be below it. You're going to want to copy the link. If you click on it, it should just select it all. Just control C. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to my friend and they're going to try and join. So open up your Minecraft. Um, for me, for some reason, if I try to use this link, this is what the link looks like. 
it doesn't let me join, but this is only my side. It should let you join. If it doesn't, uh, all you need to do is type zero or type localhost, and it should just automatically start, and then you can join. And, and my friend is going to try and join in a minute. So, my friend has joined the game. So, thanks to Arminius. He is one of the mods and, like, head pillars of the uh, community, which I will leave the Discord link in the description. You should definitely join that because this man helped me figure everything out and turn it into a video for people like you who want to play with your friends but have no clue how. So, as you can see, it works. He can join. And I can join as well, and we can play the game together, but, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I, I mean... So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, you should totally like and subscribe, because I'm gonna be starting a series of multiplayer better than Wolves, and it's really fun, obviously. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, peace out. Bye.